So the We had the idea to run a science fair to um, look at bridging the gap between primary schools and secondary schools. Um, but when we started researching into it and all the different science fairs, we came across the Big Bang and it kind of ran from there really. And we just, the ideas grew and grew and grew into the, what happened on the day. Between five and 600 students on the day, we opened it up to the secondary schools as well. So Hilton came, Ilford Coombe, secondary school came. I'm a science ambassador, so that's how I got involved. Miss Higgs was talking about the Big Bang and we'd been planning it for quite a while. It was all about bringing different primary schools together and second, some secondary schools, mostly younger children, together to learn about science for a day. We were leading different children around to different rooms where teachers had set up different experiments and activities that were all revolved around science. The aim of the day was to prove that science is more than white coats and test tubes. So we were trying to show how science is used in lots of different careers and in lots of different places. We had lots of local businesses showing how they use STEM and science in their careers. We had the Planetarium Dome in our gym, to, particularly looking at the Tim Peak takeoff, which was a few weeks previous, and looking at space and um, what's out in our, our galaxy. And we're particularly going to be linking today in with Tim Peake's historic mission, just gone up a couple of days ago to the International Space Station. Yeah. Okay, you guys, it does get quite warm in the day, so I'd actually recommend leaving your blazers with your bags there. Come on in there. The science team ran four workshops, uh, one on horrible science, one extraction of DNA, one making images with a pinhole camera, and then we had the Met Office with the green screen making their own weather forecasts for some hands-on experience of some of the ideas of using science that isn't just microscopes, test tubes and white coats. What was it? Yeah. Now slap it. Slap it. What? Just no, wait, it. just put your hand in it and grab the bottom. You want to wipe my hands with that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then lift it up. And it goes all... <laughs> and if you like grab it gently, it's just like liquid. And then if you slap it, it goes like a solid. Oh, this is real, isn't it? That's cool. <laughs>
students said you know it was the best thing they've, they've done in terms of science um, which we were really pleased with. Some of the experiments they did in the workshops the primary schools could go back and do themselves because they had all the resources given to them to do that. So just to stimulate their idea that science isn't so boring and it is quite exciting and there's lots of opportunities out there to develop it further.